Hi, Year 3. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Um, we're starting our new unit this week, and we it's going to be all about money. Okay, so we are, our first lesson is going to be investigating pounds and pence. So my first question for you is how many pence in a pound? So we've been working with millilitres and litres, and that's all been a thousand, a thousand millilitres in a metre, uh, in a, in a, yeah, in a litre, a thousand um, metres in a kilometre. We're not working with thousands this time. It's 100 pennies, 101 pennies make one pound. Okay, so how many pence in a pound? 100 pennies make one pound. That's one, one thing you just need to remember. So this is our question here. How much money do I have? So how much does this guy have here? So he's got five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds. So we can write seven pounds. And then, oh, we can do it down here, look, seven pounds. And then 50p, add 20p. So 50 add 20 makes 70. And then 70 plus five, makes 75p, so not enough for a pound. So he has seven pounds and 75p, okay? So five, six, seven pounds, and then 75p. It's really useful to do the pounds first, write the pounds down, then the pence, okay? So over here then, how much money is this? Five, six pounds, seven pounds, eight pounds, Okay, so let's do the pounds first. We have uh, eight pounds, and how many pence do we have? 50 plus 20 is 70. 70 plus 10 is 80. So um, together, the amount of money is eight pounds. Let me write this again over here because it's a bit stretched. Um, give me one minute, technical difficulties is eight pounds and 80p okay eight pounds 80 eight pounds 80p so our guided practice today we're going straight into it how much money does each child have so these are we all know five pound notes ten pound notes twenty pound notes okay you can even get a fifty pound note so instead of having ten pound coins you can have a ten pound note it's the same thing so we've got 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. And so that's going to be 40, 40 pounds. 10, 20, 30, 40, okay? Over here, so we haven't got any pounds here, we've just got pence. So 20, 40, 60. We've got 60 pence. The good thing about money, you're usually counting in tens a lot. And you're very good at counting in your tens. Okay, this one, so we've got 20 pounds, 22, 24, 26. So we've got 26 pounds there and zero pennies. We don't need to write that, we can just write 26 pounds. Two, four, six, 26. Okay, over here we've got pence again, 50p, 70p, 80, 90, a pound. So we can just write one pound. Don't forget your pound signs. And down here, we've got 10 plus um, 5 is 15. So 15, add 2 is 17, add 2 is 19, add 2 is 21, add 2 is 23, add 2 is 25. So we have got 20, oh, 25 pounds. If we wanted to split this up, we can to make it a bit easier. So we could say that that is 15. 15 pounds plus 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, plus 10 pounds, because we've got two 5 pound coins, so that's going to be 25 pounds. You can do that if that's easier, breaking it up, showing your workings out, as I would tell you in class, okay? So, um, oh, that's tomorrow's lesson. So the activities are below. Um, the, there's a red task. There's a blue task, and if you think you're ready for it, you can do the yellow task. Remember, for the yellow task, you need to make sure you show me your workings out and explain how you know how you got there. Okay? Good luck. Speak to you tomorrow.